Last night, our Adrian Wojnarowski reporting the Grizzlies will, in fact, begin listening to offers on Mike Conley and Marcus Gasol. Conley confirmed that report today, and an emotional Marcus Gasol spoke about the trade rumors with the commercial appeal in Memphis. He said, "Quote: My relationship with the Grizzlies might change, but my relationship with Memphis won't. What I feel inside and how I feel about Memphis and its people it has nothing to do with the franchise." or a temporary thing. Remember, he went to high school in yeah. Memphis, right? So, long relationship with the city. Zach, with the Buyer Sellers Board is back. I love this thing. Yesterday, we moved the Grizzlies into the Sellers Wasn't column. Wasn't an accident. Because you two said, it's time. You gotta come to terms with it. They may have been watching the show, because like an hour later is when Woj's <laughs> report came out. So maybe you two, that was the final nail in the coffin. Don't it's put time. that on me. Right? Don't put yep, that no, on me. Totally on you. Totally on you. But now I want to talk about, if you look at the board, I want to talk about who should be the buyers here. So Zach, give it to us. Who do you think needs these two guys the most? Uh, let's start Conley. with Conley, because Conley has more trade value. More years on his contract. He's younger. He's been playing better. I mean, there are a lot of teams mm -hmm. that could use Mike Conley. The most obvious ones to me are the Pelicans, because they've never been really convinced as Drew Holiday at one or two. Mm -hmm. They would love to put a one next to him. They can build that's, that's really good some one. offers. It's a little complicated. I love the Pistons. The Pistons are looking to get off Reggie Jackson like yesterday. Um, the problem is, I don't know if the Grizzlies are going to be excited about that. How much draft compensation do the Pistons have to add to Reggie plus salary? But those are the two big Conley ones. I could see the Spurs. I could see the Heat for either of these guys. Hey, you naming yeah. all these, these teams. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you got? Take your... matters into your own, yeah. own hands, T Mac. Where's your Bob Barker microphone? See this right here? Orlando Magic. We no. haven't identified a point guard in quite some time since Jameer Nelson. Woo. We need a point guard in Orlando to go with Nikola. Vucevic, who is having a great monster season, season right now. Monster. Monster a season. monster season. I don't see it only because they are so far away and Mike is like 30. I just don't think the timelines are enough of a fit for them to give up the young assets or the quality picks that Memphis mm. is going to want. That's my, that's my only reason. Let me ask you a team building question, though. And I don't, I don't know, I can't say for sure it was right for Orlando, but at some point, I mean, they've been trying to develop young assets in Orlando for a so very long, it hasn't long, happened. long time. You have the East where spots six, seven, and eight in the conference. Let's just call them up for grabs. Lots of teams could down get in there. Down for grabs. They're down a, for a, grabs. A playoff run, even just one round, would be such Thank a win you, right for Orlando. Up. They've got a good coach and Steve Clifford yes. I'm just I don't I'm not advocating no, I'm no. asking is there a point where you just say hey we can make the playoffs this year let's do that see but they could already make the playoffs this year the East is that pathetic what, a game that and they, yeah, they could already make the playoffs so I don't know that to give yourself a better chance of being the seventh seed and being complete roadkill yeah. Mike, no, Mike is really really good I look I see it they're in the market for every point guard that becomes available they've been in the market for Terry Rozier but he's young they've been in the market for the other young guys I, I just the franchises it's, that have gone year after year after year after year of rebuilding, sometimes you just for the fans. I want. completely get it. I just yeah. would predict they don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, uh, what about, let's talk about Marcus Uh Mark is a little trickier. Uh, he's either an expiring contract or he has a player option he can take for next year. And just, you know, there are fewer teams that need centers. Um, to me, I think Charlotte would be the most obvious fit. Absolutely desperate to make the playoffs, mm -hmm. but their contracts are even worse right. than Detroit's contracts. Oh, and just wow. making the salary add up. They're a summer of 2016 team, right? They're a yeah. team that got into a lot of yeah. trouble back then. But, but again, it would have to be some stuff that you don't necessarily want, plus one pick. I think the Memphis is going to, or Memphis is going to end up wanting more than one pick, particularly from if the team that they trade the player to is going to become good, like Indiana. Everyone is talking about for Conley. That makes a lot of sense on a lot of levels, but like one Indiana draft pick isn't going to do it. Is an Indiana draft pick plus plus Aaron Holiday going to do it? Indiana's not going to give up some bonus, right. so you just run into these, you know. Who's going to give them the most good? Do you picks? like Charlotte? Would you I, put Charlotte over there on the buyer's side? Yeah, I, I like Charlotte. Um, I just think with Kimba. Another guy who was just in Charlotte wasting the great talent. They got to get this guy some help. He's, he's really, really well, good. That's and an Anthony Davis situation <clears throat> in that Charlotte needs to look. Kemba has said many times he came on the show about a week and a half ago. He talked about his loyalty to Charlotte. He wants to be the face of that franchise, the idea of doing it for the rest of his career. But I get that. But 
He has got that free agency this summer. They can offer him the most money, but he wants to win. He sat here and said, I, I want to make the playoffs. Yes. I want to win in the playoffs. I want to have a shot at doing something. And I think they do need to show him, right? Mm -hmm. To yeah. convince him that, hey, we can do that. We can end that season on a good note this year. They need to have a shuffle board. They need to have a board of potential uh, acquiries for their team. And they need to bring him in and show him. Yeah. He's been a cornerstone for this franchise for quite some time. He deserves that. I forgot the most obvious team. Hmm. Dallas for either one. Well, you know, either Dallas. One. Yeah, we'll see. Very easy trades to build.